This will be the last and the final Dark Den Space update. And although I started recording this video now, I won't be actually able to finish it because you know here with the Lado Echo, I use the lapel microphone. That's the one that is attached on the shirt. That way the sound quality is the best and also in the situation when I'm always turning camera to one side and then to the other, the sound is constant because microphone is always on the same place. I mean on the same spot. But the problem, battery died. So I can't use it and I don't really want to do an update video here without that microphone. Tomorrow is Sunday, so nothing works. So I need to postpone this video for two more days. But for you, it will be instant. You know how that goes. Just a snap of a finger and we jump. But I have seen the darkness security outside. So let's try and find it. Nita, she was here and now she's not. Nita, oh, how are you? Hey, hey, Mita. You see, this is the Dark Den security. Unless you are following me on the Instagram, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Mita. She is super friendly. She's actually a stray, but not really stray because she's always here. And they are feeding her there, so she is a local cat now. of a finger we jumped in time as you see and hopefully here microphone is here working the battery was indeed dead now where should we begin first you see the biggest change I mean it's not the biggest change but it's the most obvious I have a curtain a black curtain it got two purposes one no one can see inside so I can record in peace and also in the same time this big area actually will absorb some of the sounds reflecting sounds so it will also improve the acoustics you can probably already tell because when i'm talking now you can see some echo but as i get close to the curtain and as i'm talking to the curtain you see that sound is much much clearer so that is one improvement second improvement i have this carpet it is not really something that will be here forever and like this you see it doesn't even have the the edge it's not refined at all it's just here to also help with the sound to help with absorption of reflecting sounds i will probably cut him and put on some other places I don't know, I will see that in the future. For now, it's like this. And you probably already seen this on the Instagram. Let me take you. This is the board for fan arts. All of these are the stuff that I received from you subscribers. So in the future, all fan art that I receive, it will go here. I also have some letters there that I still need to put there. So it's not everything there. Also, you see, we have Miguel Specialteria poster and Tarantula calendar. YouTube play button. Oh, and also, you know that these are from Miguel and he actually released a new poster, but it's one featuring the scorpions. So if you like scorpions, check it out. I will link it down below. And speaking of posters, I received some posters from Mazzalazzi Spiders on this Leicester Plaza. And look, it is like 40 posters here. I have no idea what I will do with them. I will probably put them on the wall somewhere but the rest i will give to subscribers that come here to the dark space to check it out so i will also be giving them these posters now regarding this shelf let me show you something you see just ordinary shelf right but <laughs> i installed the lights and it is just led strip lights that are connected to 12 volts pc thingy i also need to do the same thing to rest of the shelves but there is time for that for now i needed this shelf to be ready because i hope i believe i'm pretty sure that by the time you are watching this video i will move everything in this place so next video it will probably be recorded in this space fingers crossed if you want to find out now if i actually moved everything check out my instagram i should already by now post a picture of that if i moved everything so check the instagram and also follow me there why not now I want to open fan mail. I know what it is. I mean, I know from who it is. It is from a friend of mine. And he told me that he will send me something special to expect a, 
a package from him. His nickname is Meja and we used to skate a lot together. He is from my town, although he moved to capital of Croatia, Zagreb. So we are no longer skating together, but when we were kids, we were skating all the time. Now judging by the shape of this, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yes, I was right. Woo! Check it out. Skateboard with Doug Dan logo. And I can actually hang it. And I will definitely hang it on the wall. Did he left some note? No, he, did. he said he's starting a skateboarding company, but he didn't wrote anything. So I would like to give him a shout out, but I will ask him if he got the site or something that I can link down there. And also I believe that this actual print was made by a friend of his. His name is Dompa and I will also link his Instagram down in the description. So check him out, check what he does. Let's put this on the wall. Looking good. Major, thank you. And thank you, Dompa. And next time leave some note so I can read something. But awesome, awesome stuff. Now let's carry with the updates. I need to move this so I can... It is a male wolf spider and it is jumping like crazy. Calm down, please. Ah, come with me. There it is. There it is. So in fact, even though I didn't bring anything here, there are spiders in the dark den. <laughs> Hilarious. So what I was doing, I want to remove this, this carpet. So I can show you the, the idea. You know how I was saying that here I want polderium and here I want polderium. Now like this, you can get the better idea how exactly would it look like. One polderium here, one peldarium here on the stairs. This one was actually confusing to people because they thought that I won't be able to open the doors. But you see, once I put it here, there is plenty of space to go around it. And also these doors can easily be opened. They can fully open without any problem. So first I would like to do this peldarium. The height, it would be like up here. I will also need to cut a piece of this. You see it would be really tall, although it would be on the stand of course. We will see when we get to that. And then after that we will build this paldarium, but this paldarium will be a 360 paldarium. So we will be able to watch it from all sides. At least that's the idea. And also since it is dropping down like this, I will be able to do it like not just a paldarium, but also a complete aquarium on this side, because this area will be much deeper than this area. I have a really good idea, but we'll see if I will be managed to make it like I have in my head. Who knows? And if you watch the Terra Plaza video, I decided that this area will be for chameleon, an actual pantheon chameleon. So yeah, no reds, but a chameleon. And it will be awesome. I still haven't received boards for the shelves that will go in this in this corner. As I said, this won't be here. This is actually moving here. And here I will have big, big, big shelves. They will be big enough for some big reptiles that I plan to keep. Yeah. So I think I said everything. Hopefully next time you see me, it will be from this angle and I will be standing behind that desk. This will be full and this will be full. And also there will be one enclosure. We will have enclosures here. And we will have enclosures here, hopefully. You will find that out in three days or right now if you go to my Instagram. Link in the description. Shameless self-promotion. So that would be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page and also for Patreons, soon there will be a special update on Patreon page. So if you are Patreon, make sure to check that out. Um, Apple very Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye bye. -bye. <laughs>